Today I am telling you a story about the composition of the great epic Mahabharata. Sage Vedi Vyasa decided to compose an epic based on the stories of Kuru kingdom. He thought he would narrate the stanzas and someone could write down. He thought who would write down the great epic? After a careful search, Vyasa selected Lord Ganesha. Vyasa asked him, "Oh my lord, Only you are capable of writing the Mahabharata. Initially, Ganesha didn't like that request. He replied, But I have a condition. You have to narrate the story without a pause. The moment you stop, I will also stop and go away. Vyasa set a counter condition to Ganesha. You have to completely understand the stanzas before you write down. Both of them were agreed to the conditions and the narration began. It was the longest narration ever known. 10 million stanzas were narrated by Vyasa which Ganesha wrote down. Sage Vedi Vyasa was tired with the continuous narration. Sometimes he desperately needed a break. At such times he would use a difficult bunch of words. Even Ganesha found them difficult. As Ganesha scratched his head The old sage would take a deep breath and quickly gulp some water to regain the strength. He would be ready with the next line by the time Ganesha figured out the meaning and wrote down the words. That's why we come across some difficult stanzas occasionally in the Mahabharata, which is otherwise simple. These stanzas are known as Vyasa's breaks. Legend say that it took both of them 3 years of continuous narration and writing to complete the epic. Did you ever notice to the broken task of Lord Ganesha? When Ganesha was writing the Mahabharata, his writing feather was broke. So to stick to the condition of writing continuously, Ganesha broke his task and wrote down with that. There is another story related to the broken task. That's the fight between Ganesha and Parashurama. I will tell you that story another time. There is one cave nine to four sage where the Vyasa nearby the Bedrina temple. Vyasa cave or Vyasa guha. It's believed to be the place where the sage where the Vyasa composed the Mahabharata. Where the Vyasa statue is installed in the cave and worshipped by the pilgrims. A distinct feature of the temple is that the roof which resembles the pages of the epic Mahabharata. There is another cave named for Lord Ganesha where he wrote down the scripts. Both of the caves are on the banks of the river Saraswati at Mana village, the last Indian village situated at the India-China border. That's all for today. I hope everyone enjoyed the story. Thank you.